All right, let's get started because there's a lot of great stuff to show. And let's uh, start with the HP Lovecraft anthology that I found. I had 22 books that I found from the outdoor sale, all $1 a piece, including this one. And I haven't seen this one before. It's in pretty nice shape. A little bit back otherwise, really nice. Spine is uh, perfect. Now this is a Scholastic edition, so that's probably why I've never seen it before. I didn't know Scholastic printed any HP Lovecraft books, but it's a really cool cover. Nice cover art, great condition, one dollar. Now, I almost, uh, I wasn't even in, intending on going to the bookstore today, and I wasn't anticipating finding so many good things. This might have been overall the best day that I've ever had there, especially on a weekday when I'm not expecting to find much, but these next three books are probably the best finds of the day, in my opinion. Now, these are hard to find, they were one dollar each but the best part about finding this illuminatus trilogy i found the full trilogy to all three all three books right here they are in amazing condition somehow surprisingly i could never find these hardly ever in very nice condition especially a full set you know all together spines look nice this is by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson. Here's part one, The Eye in the Pyramid. Really amazing finds right here. I got so many other good things that it's uh, it's hard to say that these are the best of the day, you know, with all the other, it's, you'll see, you'll see uh, later on in the video here. I'll try to go quick, promise. I've got The Golden Apple, part two, and part three, Leviathan. Please excuse me if I don't go quickly. I'm kind of excited about finding all these awesome titles right here. And speaking of Robert Anton Wilson, we also have in really nice condition. Now this isn't worth all that much, but it's a really good find regardless, especially for $1 in the shape that it's in. The Mass of the Illuminati, um, yeah. Um, this will be sold separately with some other similar books. That trilogy I might either keep in my collection or sell as a trilogy could possibly sell them one but you know when you have a, tr a full trilogy and they're all in nice shape it's nice to keep them together you can sell them separately i guess but to make a little bit more money um we got a uh, copy of 1984 the typical signet classic a few different variations of this but for one dollar that's a good find pretty decent condition we've got a couple dune sequels here we got dune messiah that sticker will come off pretty easy decent shape great deal for one dollar now this bend in the cover of this copy of Children of Dune, I think happened while it was outside. Like before it, before that, I think that wasn't there. I think this happened on the day that I was, that I found this today. So un unfortunate, but still a great deal for $1. Other, other than that, well, there's a lot of bends in the cover though, but pretty decent condition for, for that book. And in really nice condition, we got the portable Greek reader. The Viking Portable Library, of course. You guys see me pick up a lot of these, but this is a really cool find for, especially for one buck. I would have spent a little more on that, in that condition. Now we got a older vintage copy. The heart, yeah, this one's uh, worth a little bit, um, Earth Abide. It's not like a ton, but not like those other books I showed you, but um, very good find. It's got a little corner, piece of the corner missing on the back. This is an amazing book as well. I would read it. If I were you, if you're looking for something to read, you could find cheaper copies than this one. This blue edition right here, Fawcett Crest, is worth a little bit more. So there are editions that are worth, you know, a lot less than that that you could pick up if you just wanted to read it. Um, Bernard Shaw, Man and Superman. This is a Penguin edition. Really nice condition. Great pickup for, oh, we got some underlining. Okay, that's fine. Still still a good pickup, though, for a $1. And we got a really nice edition of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. There are a few different editions of this. This is the one, one of the ones to look for. Not the best condition, but for one buck, great find. The Arms of the Krupp. Now, this is an easy one to sell with other similar type books. But the main reason I picked this up was... Um, you know, despite the condition of this, um, was because of the size. So there are, there were so many other good books, like I mentioned, that I want to get. I 
I got so many today that I didn't really actually have room. I was ill prepared to bring more books home. And I was just getting too much stuff anyways. I was kind of going a little, a little bit overboard. But as you can see, I have a good reason more to show you. But if I were to wait for this on Sunday, it would take up a little too much room in the bag. And same with a book like this. So the bigger, the better on days like today. This copy of It's kind of barely hanging on. But for $1, old vintage copy of It, still a really good deal. Maybe I could, uh, looks like I'll have to try to repair that. Or I got so many books to repair. That might be okay as it is, you know. People who would like a beat-up vintage uh, first edition of, of it don't really mind. They don't want you, you know. They'd rather have it the way it is. They could repair it if they if they have to. They probably won't though. Really nice looking copy of Return of the King, one of the uh, Del Rey editions. I like these editions of the Lord of the of the trilogy, um, the Del Rey. These, these are pretty good. They also have a whole bunch of his other books and supplementary books in the same editions. They're really nice. They feel nice. I got a glossy feel to them. Got a copy of uh, Sacrament here, Clive Barker. Once again, kind of a bigger book, and it's Clive Barker. You know, this is actually probably one of his most common books to find, though. But hey, Clive Barker, can't complain. And in the very, very similarly, Terry Pratchett can't pass up a, a one dollar copy of the color of magic uh, something happened to this this used to be a new book i guess uh, yeah, I got cover bend in the corner right there now we got five books right here all by the same author of the same series brian lumley now these are really good finds as well but even more so that they're books one through five in the series called Necroscope. Now these are worth a little something too. Uh, these are really good finds and they're supposed to be good books. I haven't read them before, but we got book one right there, The Lost Years, they're in pretty good shape. Book two, book three, The Source, book four, Dead Speak, and number five, Dead Spawn. There are a few others after that, I think like eight or nine. But those were good finds, but in particular because they were all together. But even separately, I would have still got them today, even if there was just like one, one kind of loose out of there. Now inside, that's all the books I got from outside the store, all $1 books. So $22, 22 books, amazing deal. Inside the store, I got a really nice looking copy of Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. Now, this is one of the very common editions, but it's in really nice shape. And $2.99, a really, really good deal for this. If you could find, there are two variants of the first edition, two different first edition variants that are really, really hard to find. I've never found a copy, actually, in all my searching. I hope to, to have one or own one someday of the older first edition but yeah i never find them and for 2.99 we also got another philip k dick book here the man in the high castle now this is one that's worth a little something especially in this nice of condition looks like it's just got a little bend in the corner right there otherwise this is a really really nice find for sure this one's worth a lot more than that one just to just to compare um, and we also got fear and loathing on the campaign trail 72 dress Thompson you know I haven't seen this particular I've, I've, I've had this book and come across this book many times but I haven't come across this edition with this unusual picture right here of some sort of uh, monster getting mad at a newspaper with a gun it's kind of funny um, it's usually it actually comes I think in a in a, on a in a red cover okay so I showed you the best finds of the day arguably these three books might actually be the best finds of the day I'll let you be the judge of that personally I'm going with the Illuminatus trilogy based on the condition kind of puts it slightly over the top but I found three more in the history of Middle Earth um, now, I did have to spend a little more money on these, but that's fine because these are worth 
a lot more than what I spent on them, to say the least. We got, once again, we saw one of these, and I have one of these also for sale at the moment, so I got another, so here's another one of Morgoth's Ring, the later Silmarillion Part 1. Now this is Volume 10 of the History of Middle-Earth. These are all in really nice condition, of course. Oh yeah. And we also got, I, I've sold one of these. I also have one currently available for sale. And now I got this one as well, The Lays of Valerian, Volume 3 of the History of Middle-Earth. So this is a little bit older. But they're all worth about, or most of them are worth about the same. Um, okay, and this one is worth quite a bit too, The Book of Lost Tales Part 2. Yeah, this, I, I'm not sure if uh, this ties in directly with, this might be the second book in the history of Middle-earth, but Part 2 is a tough one. The Lost Tales is hard to find. Book 1, I think, comes in a green cover, and it's easier to find. This one in particular is harder to find and worth a lot more. All really nice condition. So you let me know, are these three the best finds of the day? Everyone's familiar with Tolkien. You might not be familiar with Robert Anton Wilson and Robert Shea's Illuminatus trilogy. You be the judge. What were the best finds here? Overall though, I would say that this has got to be one of the top five days. I go book hunting two or three times a week on average over the past few years or so. So the fact that this is at least in the top three, top top five, top three days of all time, um, that's, yeah, it's a really good day. So thanks for watching and bearing with me while I get all excited about the stuff I find. I know I'm, I'm so lucky to have such a good bookstore. But hey, you know, um, you could also do the same thing online. Just be, you know, you just have to be persistent. And I, I do find some really good deals. Nothing like what I find at the bookstore. But thanks for bearing with me and watching. And happy reading to you. We'll talk to you later.